Hello everyone, and in this video we're going to work with the authentication system. Um, first, we're going to create the templates for for login, sign up, and like password reset, etc. We have done this before in one of our videos. We worked with the whole authentication system, but um, this video I'm going to do like really quick. And if you want to ask, if you want to like get more details just jump to those videos and but yeah um let's start just creating the templates um let's go to our templates folder and then here we're going to create a new folder um call it registration just like that because um some of the templates i mean some of the views that we're using are like comes from like the authentications for default by default and they look for the template in this folder so make sure that you have like this name okay good here we go so here um let's create a new file let's call a login html and Basically, okay, this one stands from base HTML. And let's load the static, load static. And let me see, okay. Here, the block content and and block. Um, here we have a div. Um, this is the like the road, and let's put in the middle, certain center align. And then here we will have a form. Form. This form. Um, S12. And the all will be form. Ac oops. And the actions empty and then let's put it here method post and um, yeah so now we can we just need to load the cross forgery site um cross forgery whatever um token is like cs earth token um, and then let me see I material materialize components forms yeah okay um Put at H3. Oops. For H3, login. Then div. This is another div. Oops. And then the other div for the for the input, right? Input, yeah. Let me just copy this. Let's put S12 here. Uh, and then here will be our input. Let's put form that username because we're loading with the username. Um, 
Yeah, we, we can copy this for the label. Form for username. Username. Okay, this is our first field. Let me check. Yeah. You can just copy this. Paste it over here. And this is for the password. 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 Okay. Okay, now let's create a, a NIF. Oops. If form dot errors, oops, error, errors. Just in case we have, we are like getting some errors from the form. Put this in a row. It's 12. We're going to show a little test, like a span. Let's put this in um, red and like ball. Um, your username or password did not match. Yeah. Put this up a little bit. Boom. Um, did not match. Okay. Um, what is all of this? Um, now um, we can just put the we can put the N A right here. Oops. And if, and here we have we have to put the buttons before we end the form. So button, um, the type submit, and then the value. Let's put login, um, and then let me check. Just put this. Mm -hmm. Um, class this um we can put an icon let's go here logging and then here send okay now let's put a input um, the type of this input is like hidden um, and name, let's put nest and for the value, let's put nest. Okay. Uh, this is for the login. Let's copy this. Um, let me just, let me just copy this one. Yeah. here this is will take us um, I mean material icons um, I'll sign User. Um, person. Person being. 
person B. Register. Okay, that's for the register because we're going to send the user to register here in this button. Okay, so we have like logging. Let's close that and now let's work with sign up. Again, a new file. Sign up HTML. We can just um, yeah, let's just copy. Um, you see, we could just copy the whole thing. <laughs> just paste it over here, and then go content. La la la. Same thing, same thing, username, and then now let's put email, email, because this is for the registration, email, um, let's copy this one again, paste it here, email, and then password. password 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 let's copy this one again paste it over here and then confirm password And it would like retype password. Right. Yeah. Um username, the email, and like the password. And then we can just um here actually we put um, form that errors just in case we get like errors yeah um, yeah pretty much and then like here we don't need this input This one too. Let's put on this one. Great. Register. Or no. Create account. Oh, the value. Um, we can just. Just delete that. And then like here name option. Um, and I don't know, I think, yeah, I forgot to put the, um, but it's fine. It should be fine. It's just, yeah. So we have the logging and we have the register room. Um, let's save that. Now let's create a new one. This one, let's call it change underscore pass password.html um, let's just copy let's just copy this one whole thing paste it over here uh, method action la, la, la. oh I think I forgot to 
this one will put like create an account save here change password um, here let's put um, form that ID change password um, the first thing that we need to check we need to check the old password just in case it's not another person trying to change the password from someone okay old password old password and then I hear old pass old password and then I hear new password new password new password and then here confirm password Three type password, and then we can just delete this one. Okay, same thing if forms are errors, la 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 la. Then and let me put change password save. Um, let me check, let me double check. Foreign configure password, foreign new old password, just basically like the old password and like the like both like new passwords. Um, and yeah. So when we change um, the password, we want to show like, hey, your password has been successful to change. Let's just create a new file here. Let's name it um, change, oops, underscore password underscore done. HTML. Um, here, uh, let's copy the whole thing. Paste it over here. Well, actually, we're getting rid of all of this. Yeah. And then here, let's put dip. Uh, S12 and then in the middle because well it's in the uh, it's on top here so we don't have to put it here okay now um let's put an icon let me see But this large, and then here, um, green test, and yeah, jerk sorry, uh, yeah, check circle. Yep. Um, let's copy this. Then let's put like, well, like a H4. Your password has been successfully uh, successfully changed. And let's save that okay so we have um so after this is completed if it is works i mean if the person put the old password and like they both new password when they click uh, change it will take the user here to this page 
Um, now let's create a new a new file. And save the file and then password reset form dot HTML. So this one is this, this is for when the user um, forget their password and then request like a code to send to the email. Um, let's copy all of these, paste it over here. Um, here, let's just put it um, forgot password. All right. And for this one, we just need actually the email. So let's get rid of all of these. Um, here, let's put email pass. we have an error here and I type let's fix it now mm -hmm. yep this is the change change password okay we are here okay um email and then email as 12 for errors and then here um you can just put a request code um yeah pretty much um email Let's see, just and let's save that. So, um, so when you request um, a password, it sends like an email and stuff. So let's create a new file. So because now we're going to construct like the email like body for the code. Um, let's create a new file. Let's call this one password. Um, reset sub subject and this one this one's going to be a txt a txt file and then password reset for indb clone or your website whatever you want to call it so this is the password reset subject this is going to be the sub subject of the email so now let's create a new file um let's save and call it password reset email dot html this this one's a html file okay you save it and then here let's put this tag out of escape out of escape of and then the the body you are receiving this la 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 okay you 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 initiate a password reset process for your oops for your account and then here we put user dot get username in and then here you put indb clone or your website right um click oops not the correct okay click the link below to continue so now the here we put a protocol and then here domain and then here we put the URL password this is the URL for the password preset 
compare okay um, la 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 ou, ou, put like UIDB 64 to get the this is to to show the the the, the hash right UID and then token token equals token right okay this should work um I don't know we can put more tests if the link doesn't work place copy and paste the URL in a new tab Surly INDB clone, and then here we close the N auto escape, N auto escape. Uh, oh, this is wrong. Yeah. Um, so yeah, um, yeah. Let's save that. This is our body for the email. Now let's create a new file. Let's save this file. Then it change. Let's put password reset. Done. So this is when the user. Um, so when the person like. Like request the code, which is going to be like a like a template just letting them, letting them know hey we send the email etc so let's just copy this this one and then I paste it here la, 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 la. nice we have email email you instructions instruct instructions to reset your password and like here if an account exits with the email you enter you will receive the token. Let's put another paragraph here. If you done receive an email, check your spam folder or make sure you enter the correct email. Boom. Okay, so this is for the password reset done when the person like click request code etc. Now let's work with the let's create a new file. Let's name it um, password reset underscore confirm. That's when they click on the when they click on the link like successfully and everything. So when they click on the link, they should be able to change their password. So let's just copy this one. Okay, confirm here. Yep. Uh, um, here, let's put set a new password. Um, here we put new password one so you you need to make sure that you put the field correctly because this is how this field is named new password one it's on the um it's on the documentation so yeah try to put it like correctly or it won't work this one is just password two um 
Yeah. New password one. New password. And then here. Oops. Read type pass password. New password two. Okay. Um, yeah, pretty much. And here, oh, they changed the name of this. But change password. Yeah. And here we can put. Um, The password. Let me just let me just leave it like that. Okay. Um. Yeah. So um. We can we can um. Here on the top. We can put a if. If. Oops. If valid link, if we have like a valid link, uh, and then here, if it's not a valid link, let's put oops, else, and let's copy this. Place it over here. This pass password reset link. Just in case the password reset link expires or something was in invalid. It has already been used. Please request a new one. Or spire. It's it's or spire. Here, but and if okay, okay, la la la, password reset, change password, okay, okay, so we have the password reset confirmed now when. Per the person like clicks on this button and like successfully change this password like whatever we want to show something let's just let me save this um, let's create a new file here registration let's call it um, password reset complete HTML. Make sure that you put the same the, the same names as I said before. These um templates like Django like the for default look, looks for the name, so make sure that you put the same name. Um, let's go here. Let's copy this one, and then I paste it here. La la la. la. Let's delete these two. Um, oops. Your password has been set. Please, and then now here, we put an A tag, right? Taking us to um, URL. 
logging for the login right because um when when the user like change their password it like automatically like disconnects all the user so we want to we want the person to sign in again so put like sign in um now thank you then i save that okay let's close all of these okay so we have all the registration templates and now we can actually work with the views and the forms and we'll start doing and we are going to start doing that in the next video thank you so much for watching now we'll see you in the next video bye